Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we defeated Lionel. Well, <laughs> in, in a cheap manner. We hit it with an ancient arrow because I was not going to be dealing with the Lionel. And today, we are finishing out the final trials with the final final trials. I'm guessing the last leg of our journey starts off the royal broadsword, some gear, a helmet, a royal shield, a shield issued to the Hyrulean, it's supposed to be Hylian, but whatever, Hylian royal family's immediate guard detail. It boasts a high defense, but these days it's more of a collector's items due to its ornamentation. Well, I'm going to be using this thing and abusing it. Can we get a helmet? Please. That would be great. A royal bow. Well, that's a royal bow. So let's equip those. Uh, be do be be do be be do bop. Okay, we got that, and let's unequip an ancient arrow so we don't have any mistakes. Alright, so we now also have the crates. Make sure there's nothing around. Okay, blow these things up. Bird thighs! Arrows! A lot of arrows. I, I really need to be spamming arrows more, apparently. Like, look how many- we have 82! They really want us to be camping these enemies out, so I guess I'll start doing that now. And some fruit. Is there anything else that I've missed? No, I don't think so. So, so far we've had to deal with... We've had to deal with... Uh, fire, like a fiery area where we needed to... We needed this these greaves in order to... To stay cool. And then we also dealt with an ice area where we need to stay warm. So... What is this final area where they're giving us hardy bass? One apple? Is that right? No, two apples. At least they keep giving us apples. Grab that. Some more shrooms. But they're giving us hardy bass, which give you a... a health boost. So, I'm guessing these final... these final tries are just gonna be a giant gauntlet. We have three fairies, which is good. So, let me cook this off-screen, and I'll meet you guys back... in the trial. Guardians. I see three. One behind us. One behind us. So... Oh, they're everywhere. No, they're these dead. No, they're certainly not dead. They're alive. And I see a chest over there. Yeah, I see a chest. So we're gonna walk into the center and trigger these, I'm guessing. First, let's grab this chest because it's there. And who knows, it might serve as a weapon, if push comes to shove. Oh, you. Okay, so the, the lead one is la- Oh, I see how this is gonna work. Okay, that makes sense. They're gonna be locking onto us one at a time. That makes sense. It, it's, it is a bit absurd, even though we have really good armor right now. Like, our armor is almost better than the armor that we have in the normal game. But it is kind of absurd to spring all of them on us. So, this makes sense. So I'm just going to plink away at this. Should be pretty easy. I don't even have to really expend any special resources. Which means this is going to be a really long shrine. In fact, let me... What are some of my worst weapons? I'm going to shoot this guy in the face, and then I'm going to burn through some of my, my bad weapons. Knight's Claymore could go. This could go... Broadsword can go. So I'll, I'll just burn through some of those. They, they do a lot of damage, so I might as well. Okay, so then there's this guy. Oh, there are two. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this one first then. Tree almost hit me. Get out of the way. Okay. Well, good. I'm using this guy as a blockade that's being smart. Still have my cold resistance going, although that doesn't really matter. Let me just keep plinking away at this guy using him as cover. I did a surprising amount of damage to him. I'm. That's kind of weird. Because this weapon isn't that good, and yet I, I did a lot of damage to him. Okay, he still doesn't see me. Can I stasis these guys too? I can. There. 
And we'll use him as cover just in case. You never know when one midway through me fighting him comes alive. Uh, let's use this. This is bad. The Lizal Boomerang, as cool as it is to have a boomerang that's also a sword, it's it's not that good. Okay, what else is coming alive? You and you? Yep. Oh, three of them. Stun this one. And use them as cover. It'd be nice if we could get them to shoot th this one, but that that's kind of risky. That's playing that's playing a dangerous game. Oh, let's use up the double axe. It's actually bad, even though it's one of those other weapons that looks really cool, but isn't actually that. There, he's dead. Now let's focus this one because he's the easiest to approach. Didn't drop anything, right? Okay. They never really do, but I, I always have to check. Okay, plink you. You're gonna shoot? No, he's not. All right, let's slice and dice this one. Our double axe is, even though even though it's a bad weapon, it still has a lot of durability. Shoot him in the eye just to help regain our stamina, stall for time. And plink him in the face. And he is dead. Okay, moving on to the last one. This has been a lot easier than I thought. It would have been terrible. Actually, would it have been terrible if they all came to life at once? I don't even know if it would be. Because I could just use them as cover again, like I, I did before. So I don't even know. I need to shoot this guy in the eye. There. That was close. Okay, hit him. And switch over to... This one is 38. 36, 24. 24. Yeah. Okay. Let's check for more hidden treasures, and then I think we can leave. I'm kind of surprised that there are no hidden treasures underneath the Guardians. That seems to make a lot of sense. Just have them sitting underneath so you, you never expect it. There's that one. Okay, nothing else is hidden. Let's move on. What am I looking at right now? I have no clue what I'm looking at. Oh, 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 this is a replica. There's even a horse! That's so cool! They're giving us a horse! So we can reenact the intro. Oh, we have to catch the horses? They're not tame? Well, that's kind of lame. I might as well just go and kill this guy myself. Instead of trying to tame a stupid horse. I'm tempted to just ignore the horses, but they're giving me horses. I have to use the horses. And the Guardian's way over there. He's never going to know. Okay, A to get A is get on. Mount. Here. Here. Okay, you're mine. Okay. They were already tamed. That's pretty nice. Okay, let's go kill this guy. Uh, switching over to shock arrow. I don't have shock arrows. Line up the shot carefully. And... Let's use this. Cut off his leg. Uh, do I have a claymore-like weapon? I do. I'm not sure if it's enough. Oh, boy. Running. Okay. Uh. Oh, I, I got him in the eye. Wow. My my wrist flick was good, even though it, they haven't been. Cut off the legs. Ooh, that, this is good. His underside's exposed. Apparently, you can hit that for lots of damage. Ow. And he can't walk anymore, so now he's as good as dead. He is sorely out of luck. Kill the leg. I could have used an ancient arrow here, but I really don't want to lean on... I don't want the, them to be my crutch. And last leg. Ow. <laughs> that keeps happening. And he's dead. Right? Yeah. And I've never tried this before, so let's see how much damage I take. None. Well, nice. And I'm fully expecting there to be a hidden item in that monument. It makes sense. It's it's not there just for decoration, and it's certainly not there just to get a slow arrow shot. Not to slow down time. Also, I could have used stasis there. I, I, kind of, I didn't think of that. Is it actually just for decor? It is for decor. It doesn't do anything. 
That's that's sad. I mean, they gave us these, but I was expecting a sword to be embedded in the top of that. Floor 20 with flying guardians. This may be one I want ancient arrows on. Flying guardians, eh? Oh, no, only one. Only one. Okay, so... Where, what is his search pattern? Because if if it's lame, I, I want to climb this. I can climb it and then get a couple free shots in on him. I've never really killed... I've killed the flying guardians before, but it's not to the point where I can... I have a formula for defeating them. Like, with the normal guardians, you just shoot them in the eye. Do not find me, please. You just shoot them in the eye, and that's good enough. But with... With these, I, I really don't know what is the, the most optimal way to kill them. Is just plink them in the eye m multiple times, or is it something more? Okay, there is a chest on the top. I, I figured there would be some sort of treasure. So let's... Oh, I, I hit him. Okay, cool. Whoa! Oh, they do this. Okay. They just fire. So... Plan? is to do what? They just instantly fire. Yeah. Okay, so I just plink and then run. Whoa. I still catch fire a little bit. Oh, I hit him without taking fire. Whoa. He's not actually going... He's not ascending at all. I missed. Hoi! Almost got him. Let's go to the center thing. This that'll be that'll get a better vantage point. Hopefully he just uh, he doesn't see me. Get up. Okay. Whew. Now I should be able to just take pot shots at him and be fine. Bomb arrows. So we need to use bomb arrows with this guy maybe. Oh. That really didn't do anything, did it? Oh boy! I failed. Okay, I hit him. Oh man, I don't know why I just why Link just ran off the ledge. It's entirely possible that there was a a loss of connection between the the gamepad and the game or the gamepad and the Wii U, because that can sometimes cause the last input you you pressed, which would be run, it, that can cause it to continue past when you released it. You know what? Oh, that, that doesn't kill him. Oh, he's more powerful than that. It's not just a matter of shooting with an ancient arrow. Got it. I thought those insta killed everything. Apparently I was wrong. Buddy, I'm right here. Come on. I'm literally walking towards you. There. I don't know. This guy, there was something to him. He was not that bright. He didn't drop anything either. That was weird. But I killed him. I only took a few hearts, and that was just kind of my due to my own stupidity. So, this is almost getting easier. Which, I don't understand. It's... This feels a lot easier than the first... The Actually, the first six sub-levels were a lot more difficult than this. So, I don't know, maybe I'm just getting so many resources and and managing them so well that enemies just don't do much? Or actually, you know what it is? It, I'm running into the problem. I'm running into the problem with Breath of the Wild is that you can only scale enemy difficulties up so much until they become non- they become irrelevant. It's, it's the problem with Skyrim or Fallout or Breath of the Wild is you can't make things too difficult. You can only just change the stats, and if someone knows how to handle an enemy, like, okay, if, if all of these enemies were an instant kill, if you don't get hit, that's not a problem. So it doesn't matter how much they, de they damage they do, if they just can't hit you, then it's just as easy as if they did no damage. Another flying guardian. This time, what is the catch? Is it just a flying guardian, or is there an actual guardian along with it? I feel like they probably paired the two together. 
So I'll try and scout it out before I just start f shooting. Yep, knew it. Oh, wait, what? Come on, Earth. What is that? What is that? We've never seen that before. A guardian turret? Are there two of these? Is it symmetrical? It has a good range to it. We've never seen one of these before. That's cool. No. Okay, so my, my plan here is to find... Is to walk up to the guardian turret. And then kill that. Because that's going to make everything else more difficult. So, ignoring the guardian, ignoring the flying guardian. Actually, can we use our camera on this? I can't use that here. Oh, wait, not amiibo, sorry. Camera. Guardian Skywatcher. So, we'll save that. I might, I might as well start taking pictures of these guys. And then, have I even taken a picture of a guardian? Guardian Stalker. And then, we'll find out what this guy's called once we get up here. So, there are three different kinds. I thought there were just two. Well, cool. We're still encountering new enemies. New challenges. New... New death. New death. Everyone likes new death. It's not like that outmoded old death. Okay, get my stamina back. I see a chest over there. I need to remember that. And... Does this guy have any self-defense built in? So, I'll switch... Over to normal arrows. Royal bow... We could use this. I'm just gonna use this. First, guardian turret. <laughs> Great shot. Great shot. Got the little mosaic there. Wait, hit it. Hey! Oh, he raises up. Oh, that's cool. Guardian turret. Great name. We have the stalker and we have the sky watcher, and then we just have a turret. Come on. Can you do anything? No? You're gonna just stay there? Well then, I'm gonna kill you. And I'm gonna switch to... This. What do you got? Oh, 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 oh. Uh... Stasis? No, 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 not that. Oh, I interrupted his attack. Again. Okay, so just spin on this guy. And then I'm probably going to take out the Skywatcher. I can start using these proper terms. Boom. I can take out the Skywatcher and then the normal Guardian. If I try to tackle the normal Guardian and the Skywatcher notices me, then I'm it's kind of the end of my game. But... Oi! But if I'm able to take out the Skywatcher while the other Guardian is, is just pacing over there, then I should be fine. Okay, let's fly over here. Hopefully this guardian doesn't notice me. I really just want to get the chest first. Because if it has like a bundle of ancient arrows, then I know I can just kind of spend them willy-nilly. And also it has shelter? Royal shield. My inventory- of course my inventory is full. Of course it is. In- in the stinging pit of 100 trials where you don't actually get any inventory at the start, I fill up my inventory. Royal shield. Cool. I'm gonna walk in here. Another chest. Well, that's cool. What's in here? A royal sword? A royal bow? Royal bow. Nice, to replace the one that I am about to use up. Also, looking at this guy, this all this guy is, is a guardian turret that's upside down. That's all he is. A guardian turret that's upside down with propellers. Focus on me. You need glasses? Oh, no he doesn't need glasses. On the contrary, he says I need glasses. Some pot shots in. Missed. Oh! Big boys got to see me. Oh, big boy is not happy. He finally found out there was a party in that I killed all of his party guests on his birthday. And he it was not cool about that. Okay, so weapon, optimal weapon here would be a slicing and dicing weapon. This? I'm actually running out of weapons, believe it or not. Here. Let's 
cut up his leg or not. Uh, oh, stasis. Got him in the eye. That was close. Okay, cut off a leg. Cut off a leg! Got him. Okay, now that his leg's cut off, I should be able to get the rest of them. I don't have a, a good weapon that I can spin around with, so I have to be very quick to take off his legs so that he can't kite away from me. Very nice. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There. The reach of this weapon is not too good. Okay, I am running out of... I am running out of actual swinging weapons, so... I should probably just use this from here on out. Come on. What are you gonna do? I've always wanted to try shield bashing one of their attacks, and I have the shield for it now, but... I'm, I'm also just scared to death that he's going to insta-kill me and have to use and expend one of my fairies. Okay, the... Uh... Might as well. Oh! Well, neat. Neat, it came back. So that was more use of out of the weapon than I thought. And now I can scour this area for good hidden gems like this. Got some shrooms, which I'm not sure how useful those are when I'm almost done with this, but I'll get some shrooms. Wait, is the fact that they're giving me consumables mean that there's one more rest stop? No, 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 please no. I don't want another, I don't want another rest stop. I want to be done. I'm so close, and the longer I go, the, bi the bigger chance I'm going to mess up and end up dying having to do all this over again. Whoa! Is that just a Lionel, or are there a bunch of other enemies? Oh no! Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be using Nature Arrow on this guy. Oh my word! Wait, wait. There's a. Okay, it's a Guardian turret. Guardian turret I can deal with. But a moving guardian, not so much. Okay, we're. They're all over here. I'm going to deal with the guardian. Oh, ow. I'm going to deal with the Guardian Turret first, because that's the, the most troublesome thing. Full recovery plus two? I think I will. For full recovery plus two. Okay. Now I need to get up here. Wick. While they don't see me. Or not that many see me. And avoid the toss of the rocks. Shoot! Shoot! And I need to make sure I'm not running out of weapons, so... I can use this up on him. Cool. Should I use... Oh, what should I use here? I'm kind of scared because I'm running out of stuff. I'll use the broadsword. I think bows are going to be more useful. Whoa! Whoa, he shot... Wait, 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 wait. What? What? hit me. What is hitting me? Is it the Lionel? Uh... Oh, this is where it all goes wrong. It is the Lionel. We need to kill him first. Uh, a consume... Where is my thing? Consume full recovery? No, I'm just gonna snack. Eat chow down on these. Okay, Lionel first then. Switching over to Ancient Arrow. Okay, the Lionel's gone. The Lionel's gone. That is the, the most important thing right now. That the Lionel is dead. Don't have to deal with him anymore. Now this is uh now this is just a formality. In fact, do I have any spears left? I don't. Okay, now that What is happening over there? I think they shot one of their friends accidentally, because he flew off the horse like he was hit by something, and it wasn't... Oh, wow, he breached with that. Good good swing there, buddy. There's a chest over there. So the Lionel's gone. I'm not going to be taking damage from him. I did take a lot of damage from him, but I should be fine. Shoot him. Oh, I didn't mean to use an ancient arrow. Oh, that's not good. I mean, I did it. Now I have one left. Ooh, this actually got a lot more difficult. So I think I'm gonna steal a horse. 
This guy knows I'm here. There's an empty horse there. I could take that. No, I think I will. Get on the horse. Soothe him. Soothe him. I'm a soothe. Yeah. Horse whisperer. Okay, get my sword out. Do I have a better sword? I have a spear, actually. I forgot about that. Okay, you. You're low level, right? Yeah, you're completely low level. Good jump, horse. Now kill the other horses. Yeah. Oh, man. I just realized how much... I was complaining about my weapons being empty, but what I didn't think about is how man many more weapons I'm getting here. <laughs> because I'm getting my, my pick of the, the litter here. Where are you? I got him. Okay. My spear's probably almost brittle. This horse has great handling. Wow. This horse has really great handling. Are there any more? No, I did it. Whew. So, Lynel, I think that was a silver main too. As well as a guardian turret. Was this the final trial, though? I kind of doubt it. I, I kind of doubt it, which means because I used up... Unless I get ancient arrows here. That would be fantastic. Ancient arrows, please? Bomb arrows. Uh, that's not even a close second. I'm guessing the final trial might be like three Lynels. Uh, two normal ones and two gray or silver. Or two normal ones and one silver. Let's grab our arrows. And like I said, we get the, the pick of the litter here. I don't need any shields. But I get a bunch of cool claymores, weapons, other things. Stone smashers. More things to cook. I'm kind of scared about that. They're giving me things to cook, guys. It's not a good sign. Chest, which I already got. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else buried here. I think I have completed this floor and cleared it out. Alright, well, let me look at my inventory. Things I can eat. I am kind of limited now because of that, but I also have a good many full recovery items and a bunch of things to snack on. I have, I do have fairies, so that's something to keep in mind. I have fairies here now. So, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how many floors are left. I'm kind of scared about that. Oh! I'm done! I'm done? I'm done! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! I was preparing for <laughs> a Lionel brawl, but no! We did it! Now, is this the actual final trial, or is there the a final final trial? Like, up there, we're gonna be pulled up into the, the great beyond. I don't even know what happens if I fall, and I do not want to find out. I would not put it past Breath of the Wild to just insta-kill me, or just give me a game over if I fell off the side here. So, I'm not going to test that theory. Also, oh, my th I forgot, my theory. My theory is that there are seven... Uh, let's see, there are one, two, three, four, there are nine? No, there, there are seven. There are seven monks here, which means I might get seven spirit orbs. Let's find out. Howdy. I completed your trial. Please let me in. It's cold in here. It's probably warm in there. Oh, the blue. You have done well. The depth of your hero heroism is beyond question. We are the ones who prepared this trial, following a revelation from the goddess Hylia. To the one who has overcome the trial of the sword, you have proven your hand worthy of the legendary master sword. Are these the sages? Now that the hero has gained the power necessary to combat the calamity, our sacred duty has been fulfilled. Chosen hero. With the awakened master sword now boasting its true splendor. Protect the kingdom kingdom of Hyrule for now and for always. We did not get a bunch of spirit orbs, but we did get a fully awakened master sword. And just making sure there are no treasures around. I kind of feel like there might be. Here, let me... This is stupid, but... Jump? Haha. -ha. 
Is there something? You know, this is really stupid. I shouldn't be doing this. Unless there is a purpose to this. And the purpose is I am the sage now. It is me. In fact, let me let me follow suit with them. And wait, also. And this. And this. There, I'm naked like they were too. I am the sage. The true sage. Alright, let's get this master sword. We did it. We did it. Completely naked. That's it, game. Don't be afraid. You can use real music. You can do it for the first time in the game. I was really half expecting there to be a discreet error there. It would have just been my luck for that to happen. And now we are reunited with Fee? Now's the now's her time. Fee. <gasps> it was. Did you hear that? It is Fee. <laughs> ah, you have finally returned. Your mind, body, and soul are now ready to wield the master sword at its full potential. You never fail to impress. Did you- Oh, they actually did! I did not add that sound effect in post. The- the fee sound effect for her to go back into your sword played. My mind is blown, and I'm- I'm so happy. The legendary sword that seals the darkness, a blade that can, that can combat the calamity. Link's triumph over this trial of the sword has awakened its true splendor. Now you are truly one with that sword of yours. I must say, its sacred glow suits you well. As ever, I shall watch over your journey from here. The princess. I am certain Hyrule's princess is pleased with your accomplishment as well. Let's look at this master sword. From what I've heard from you guys... It doesn't actually consume any t durability anymore. Let me look. It's not on cooldown, right? It's not on cooldown. Oh, I guess it can't be on cooldown if if uh we want to if we if we do the trial, you ca it can't have the sword on cooldown, and so it would have had to be off cooldown. So should we go fight an enemy with this thing just to round out the episode, or should I just go cut down some trees? Cutting down trees would allow me to tell if if it has a charge time or not. So maybe we should go do that. There. So let's just chop it down a bunch of trees just to see if this thing has a durability. I don't think it does, which means we should be able to just chop everything down from here on for the rest of the game. We should be able to kill any enemy with the immensely overpowered Master Sword. Here, chop down this tree. Yeah, I don't think this thing has a durability. It's certainly not running into the cap just yet. And it's also beautiful. Oh, a dura carrots. Oh, I'll grab those. You chop down anything. This is great. Now, it's, it's also heavily abusable, because at this point in the game, having an overpowered sword is... Well, I, it's, oh, this sword is overpowered no matter where you are in the game. I mean, let's see. Uh, where's... Do we have a royal broadsword or something? Yeah, so a royal broadsword, which is apparently one of the best weapons in the game, is a little over half the power of the Master Sword. And the Master Sword has infinite durability, which completely messes up the 
the entire system in which upon which the game is based, having limited resources and, and allocating and managing those resources, the Master Sword completely breaks that, which means I'm not going to be abusing this. We're not going to be just one-shotting everything from here on until the rest of the game. Instead, we're going to be gating our resources and using it only when the time is right. So if I fa face a guardian, if I face a boss, or if I'm just low on weapons, something like that. Or maybe for a story purpose, if I'm fighting Calamity Ganon, then I'll pull it out. But otherwise, I, I'm going to continue to limit its use as if we were, as if it was still limited within the game. But it does in fact have limit, unlimited durability, which is great. And I think, yeah, I don't know why it's not doing its, its the Skyward Strike, but it apparently it's not feeling like it right now. So we did it. We completed the Trial of the Sword. All of them. In fact, the, the final Trial of the Sword, I did on my second try. I was surprised by the, the keys in the, the very first episode we did it, but then I, uh, I reset, came back, and I beat the entire thing. So I'm really happy with myself. I beat the hardest stuff that this game has to offer. Now, granted, I did it a bit on the, the back of, a, of Ancient Arrows, but still, they give you the ancient arrows. It's not me being broken, it's just or me being cheap. I'm using the resources which they gave me. And they gave me just enough to f handle some of the harder enemies, and that's it. It's not like they were handing those out like candy. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And... Next time, well, after I enhance my clothing, let's see, what can I do? Climber's bandana, I can, I'll do this. So next time, uh, we're gonna be heading down to the south. That, that seems to be where you guys want me to go, is, is down south around the Lurlin region, going back there and then heading west. Yes, I know about set bonuses. This is not kindergarten, I know all these things. Ooh, I can upgrade these two? Star- oh, star fragments are used for this. Okay. But, uh, we're gonna be heading down in the, to the ah. southwest. Apparently, there are some good horses down there, which I can grab those. Maybe the final horse of the game to replace Sif? I have had an idea since the beginning of the Let's Play about what that horse's name would be. So, yeah. We did it. I'm- I'm really- I'm tickled pink. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for another Breath of the w episode of Breath of the Wild.